Messenger passed within 200 kilometers of the planet, mapping it and taking more than 1,200 pictures. This graphic shows almost half the planet mapped 30 years ago by Mariner 10. Now, combined with two flybys by Messenger, NASA has images of about 90 percent of the planet's surface. The science team discussed its findings at NASA headquarters Wednesday. Mark Robinson is from Arizona State University. Okay, what we're looking at right now is the hemisphere of Mercury seen as Messenger spacecraft left the Messenger uh, left the Mercury area. Uh, the image on the left is a pretty close approximation to true color. The image on the right, which has all of these bright colors, utilizes the ability of the Messenger camera to look not only in the visible wavelengths but also out into the infrared. Mercury's past there were there were extensive volcanic. Uh, outpourings of these kind of magmas. And one of the things I really like about this image is that it's a microcosm in terms of the whole planet. The background, so to speak, of the image, which is rougher and, he and heavily cratered than compared to the smooth plains, really represents what a lot of Mercury looks like. This closer view is of an area about 600 kilometers wide. Maria Zuber of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology says the bright mineral deposits are believed to be from ancient volcanic eruptions. And from the first and second flybys of Mercury, um, we now have a better understanding that volcanism uh, is quite an important process, and we're, uh, we're even beginning uh, to quantify that in, in some important way. This film shows vast, smooth plains filled with thousands of cubic kilometers of solidified lava. That's an awful lot of volcanic material in one place for such a little planet. And so this uh, planet, obviously, um, a lot has been going on inside of it to cause melting that then extruded to the surface. And the kind of observations that you see here um, really pretell of what we're going to be able to get uh, when we can look at this in a more global way to go back and to reconstruct uh, the history of uh, volcanism, uh, among other processes, on the surface of Mercury. The team is looking forward to further observations from MESSENGER when the probe begins orbiting the planet in 2011. Paul Sisko, VOA News.